Stop it. their love for one another into the holy and sacred estate of marriage. This relationship is an honorable one and a sacred one, established by our Creator for the welfare and the happiness of all mankind, and approved by the Apostle Paul as honorable among all men. It is designed to unite two sympathies and hopes into one, and it rests upon the mutual confidence and devotion of husband and wife. It may be in extreme thoughtfulness and reverence and independence upon divine guidance that you enter now into this holy relationship. Let us pray. God, for the joy of this occasion, we thank you. For the significance of this wedding day, we thank you. 
For this important moment in an ever-growing relationship, we thank you. And for your presence here and now, and your presence at all times, we thank you. And it's in Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. The Apostle Paul compared the relationship between husband and wife to that of Christ and the church. And marriage is a decision of two individuals to share this same type of pure Christian love as described by Paul. 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 through 8 states, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rather rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. This kind of love enriches each part of, of life, and marriage enriches love. And two lives shared with this kind of love can hold more fulfillment than either life alone. A famous quote by noted clergyman Henry Van Dyke states, Time is too slow for those who wait, too swift for those who fear, too long for those who grieve, too short for those who rejoice, but for those who love, time is eternity. And in this quote, he has perfectly captured the seasons of life that will be experienced in a marriage. In each of these seasons, there is always the temptation to give in to the emotion of the moment and perhaps marginalize the enduring impact of love. And this temptation must be cast aside knowing that authentic love is eternal in nature. It cannot be compromised and it certainly cannot be trivialized. The love between a man and a woman who share the bond of marriage is, as Paul stated, unfailing. Though the world be torn asunder, the eternal choice of love is girded by the Holy Spirit can never be diminished. Ecclesiastes chapter, five, chapter nine, or chap, sorry, chapter four, verses nine through twelve states: Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls, the one will lift up his companion. But woe to the one who falls when there is not another to lift him up. And furthermore, if two lie down together to keep warm, how can one be warm alone? And if one can overpower him who is alone. Two can resist him. A cord of three strands is not easily torn apart. Now Matthew, are you ready to enter into this marriage with Laura, believing that the love you share and your faith in each other will endure all things? If so, say, I am. And Laura, are you ready to enter into this marriage with Matthew, believing that the love you share and your faith in each other will endure all things? If so, say, I am. I am. Matthew, do you take Laura to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in holy matrimony? Do you promise to love her, to honor her, and cherish her, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, and to be to her in all things a good and faithful husband as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I do. I do. And now, Laura... Do you take Matthew to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in holy matrimony? Do you promise to love him, honor him, and cherish him in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, and to be to him in all things a good and faithful wife, as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I do. I do. <laughs> now, Matthew, repeat after me. I, Matthew, take you, Laura, to be my wedded wife. I, Matthew, take you, Laura, to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Laura, if you would repeat after me, Matthew. Yes. I, Laura, take you, Matthew, to be my wedded husband. I, Laura, take you, Matthew, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To 
have them to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. <laughs> <laughs> Let us pray. Father in heaven, you ordained marriage for your children, and you gave us love. And we present to you, Matthew and Laura, who come this day to be married. May the covenant of love they make be blessed with true devotion and spiritual commitment. And we ask that you, God, will give them the ability to keep the covenant they have made. When selfishness shows itself, grant generosity. When mistrust is a temptation, give moral strength. When there is misunderstanding, give patience and gentleness. If suffering becomes a part of their lives, give them a strong faith and an abiding love. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. May I have the rings, please? The wedding ring. Oh, thank you. <laughs> The wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of an inward spiritual bond which unites two loyal hearts in endless love. And it is a seal of the vows that you will make to one another. Matthew, if you would take the ring, place it on Laura's hand, and repeat after me. Laura, I give you this ring. Laura, I give you this ring. In celebration of our marriage. In celebration of our marriage. As a pledge of my love. As a pledge of my love. And faithfulness. and faithfulness. I promise to you my love. I promise you to my love. Friendship. Friendship. And support. And support. Through our lives together. Through our lives together. And now, Laura, you would take the ring, place it on Matthew's finger, and repeat after me. Matthew, I give you this ring. Matthew, I give you this ring. In celebration of our marriage. In celebration of our marriage. As a pledge of my love. As a pledge of my love. And faithfulness. And faithfulness. I promise to you my love. I promise to you my love. My friendship. My friendship. And support. And support. Through our years together. Through our years together. And now we proclaim a blessing over Matthew and Laura as they begin their lives together. May the Holy Spirit pour out an abundance of blessing upon the both of you. May the Lord defend you from every enemy and lead you into all peace. May your love for each other be a seal upon your hearts, a mantle about your shoulders, and a crown upon your foreheads. And may you be blessed in your work and in your companionship, in your sleeping and in your waking, in your joys and in your sorrows, in your life and in your death. Now let us pray. Our loving Father, we know that you are the witness of every marriage and the sealer of every spiritual union. And we give thanks knowing that it is your love and your life that fills the hearts and minds of Matthew and Laura. They have pledged their love and vowed their commitment to each other on this their wedding day. Grant that they may be true and loving to each other, living in such a way as to bring peace and joy to their lives and the lives of family and friends who support them. May you continually rejoice with them just as you do this day and bless this their wedding day. And may be, they always be aware of your abiding love throughout their lives together. And we ask these things in your name. Amen. And now that Matthew and Laura have, have given themselves to each other by solemn vows and the giving and receiving of rings, I now pronounce you are husband and wife. And Matthew, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> it is with pleasure that I announce for the very first time in public with husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew and Laura Turbo. <laughs> And you want me to stop? This is hard to turn, girl.